Switch the following alkenes in order of increasing stability. We need to know that the more substituted the double bond is, or alkene is, the more stable it is. What do we mean when we say more substituted? I gave you examples on top for monosubstituted, disubstituted, trisubstituted, and tetrasubstituted alkenes. A monosubstituted alkene is a double bond that, that is directly attached to only one carbon. A disubstituted alkene is a double bond that is directly attached to two carbons. Trisubstituted will be directly attached to three carbons. And tetrasubstituted will be directly attached to four carbons. So these are in order of stability. Tetrasubstituted will be more stable and monosubstituted will be least stable alkene. Let's go ahead and now look at our examples here to be able to first identify what kind of substitution does each double bond have and then that will allow us to predict and arrange the alkene, alkenes in order of increasing stability. Let's go with the first one on the left. We see a double bond and we ask, we ask ourselves how many carbons is it directly attached to? So what we do is we identify where our double bond is here and here and then we see that it is directly attached to one, two carbons. This and this one, it has two direct attachments, therefore it is disubstituted. Let's go to the next one. Our double bond is in the same location and it is directly attached to one, two and three. So our double bond is tri substituted. This carbon, this carbon, and this carbon, it is directly attached to. Next one, our double bond is again in the same location. It is directly attached to one, two, three, and four. These four carbons directly attached to our double bond therefore we say it is tetra substituted and let's go to the last one our double bond now switched its location it is directly attached to one two three and four this one is tetra as well these are the four carbons that the double bond is attached to Okay, let's go ahead and now that we know what the substitution is, we can arrange our double bonds in order of uh, increasing stability. So from the least substituted to the most substituted because the most substituted will be more stable. Well, the first one is the least substituted. So I'm going to give it number one and I'm going to say least stable. The next one is tri substituted. I'm going to give it number two. It is a little more stable than number one. And then we have a problem. We have both of the compounds that have the same exact substitution. Both are attached to four carbons and they're both tetra. So what do we do? Well, let's take a closer look at this compound. We see here that the double bond is at the bridge. And actually, this compound is very, very unstable because we do not want to have a double bond on the bridge. The reason we don't want to have a double bond on the bridge is because if we check hybridization of this carbon, it will be sp2 because it's connected to three attachments, which is a 120, which is planar 120 degree angle. However, for bridge compound, it does not want to be planar. So there is a lot of strain on, on this compound, making it very unstable. So now we have to change all of our arrangements. Since it is so unstable, I'm going to go ahead and erase actually what I wrote before. 
and we will give one to this very unstable car very unstable alkene the di substituted alkene will be two tri substituted will be three and tetra substituted will be four i hope you enjoyed this lesson this is maya from transformation tutoring and i will see you soon